transfer portal is is on fire and it the 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 flames will only continue to bellow bigger and bigger and bigger. Dante Moore, his name, UCLA quarterback, former five-star, he's in the portal now. Now, we talked on the show midseason about how there were some rumblings that this may be coming. I, I'm not necessarily sure that those two are connected. I know Chip Kelly was thought to be all but fired, and now Chip Kelly is retained. And one of the consequences to that may be some of their NIL guys are drying up and they're saying, as long as he's there, we're not contributing. And if that's the case, this would be a likely result. He is the number one available player in the 24-7 sports transfer portal rankings right now. He was committed to Oregon once upon a time. So I'm going to watch Oregon. He's from Michigan. He's from Detroit. Uh, so Michigan State's got a new coach. Oregon's got J.J. McCarthy likely walking out the door. Um, so there, there's playing time available, both major programs in Michigan. That's a big name. That is the number one name as of this moment in the portal. Riley Leonard, you saw from Duke, the quarterback over there, he's also in the portal. And when your head coach leaves, you get a freebie. So Mike Elko left. He went to A&M. His quarterback uh, was banged up at times this year. But when he was right, you saw what he could do. He's in the portal, and the crystal ball, overwhelmingly, is Notre Dame. I agree with that, but I don't do crystal balls. Um, so let's, let's just see if for the second straight cycle, Notre Dame takes a transfer quarterback. It was Wake Forest last cycle. It may very well be Duke this cycle. At Oregon State, this, this was to be expected. DJ Uyangalale is in the portal. Damian Martinez is not. So let me talk about DJ for a second. He's in there as a grad transfer. Um, Jonathan Smith left. They are going wherever they're going to go in terms of the hierarchy of college football. But with the Pac-12 essentially dissolving, this wasn't all that difficult to see coming. He had a pretty good year this year. He could go uh, to Oregon or Florida State. Those are some early names to watch. I, I think that process is just getting cranked up. Also, uh, Damian Martinez, the running back, is sticking around, at least it looks like right now, uh, but also got arrested in the past couple of days. And so, you know, they, they elevated from within there when it comes to head coach. Let's keep an eye on this because, as is the case with any, with any coaching move, you could always have the floodgates open. And that was a quality team this year, a high-quality team. So there are some very enviable assets on that, on that team. What about Juice Wells? What about old Antoine Wells over there at South Carolina? In 2022, this was a first-team all-SEC wide receiver. He was banged up this year, but I was over on the Big Spur today because I always lurk around and see what Hale and JC and the guys are saying. Looks like Texas is a big player for Juice Wells, and that backs up what we had heard out of Austin. Spencer Rattler goes to the NFL, and so there's a lot of uncertainty in Columbia right now. And look, if you're a wide receiver – I'm never going to blame you if you're looking over at Sark in Texas. And now the methodology is proven. Like now they're a borderline playoff team. That's understandable. It's not a shocking headline. It's just a tough blow for a team like South Carolina. Uh, because back in 2022, when he had a full 13 games played, uh, nearly a 1,000-yard receiver, six touchdowns, and 2023 was what it was. Tobias Mayweather is a Notre Dame wide receiver in the portal. Chris Tyree is a Notre Dame wide receiver in the portal. Braylon James is a Notre Dame wide receiver in the portal. But Tobias Mayweather is a little different cat. 6'4", 204, currently the number one wide receiver available in the portal. Back in the 2022 recruiting cycle, he was number 14 overall at his position. And I look, I don't particularly know who would lead for him yet. And I, some, some of these guys go in and they're already decided on where they're going to go. I don't, I don't necessarily know that that's the way I would handle that. Like, if you're a big-time player, there will be spots for you. It's not a situation, if you're Tobias Mayweather, where you better get in there and, and grab whatever high-level MAC team wants you. That is not his plight. So he can afford, if he wants to, to wait it out and, you know, see which coaches move, uh, see which roster spots open up. So can K.J. Jefferson, the Arkansas quarterback. Really interesting dynamic up there right now. So Bobby Petrino's been hired as the offensive coordinator. I just want to say it again because it rolls off the tongue. Bobby Petrino's been hired as the offensive coordinator at Arkansas. I'm going to do it again, Jesse. 
Bobby Petrino has been hired as the offensive coordinator at Arkansas. It gives me the goosies just to say it out loud. Well, there, there, there are debates, let's just say, in northwest Arkansas right now about whether K.J. Jefferson is a, quote, Petrino QB, unquote. And no matter what your opinion is, it has been shared on hogsports.com. I am a regular lurker and occasional poster over there, and it has been shared, no matter what you think. Well, if he's out the door, and there's no decision that's been made publicly, but if KJ's out the door, where could they go? And for the record, Zenitz and Hummer have both been all over this on our side, and they both think KJ's likely headed to the portal. Most people around the program think he's likely headed to the portal. I don't, I don't know what their plan is at quarterback, uh, but it's, it doesn't sound like they are overly, you know, distraught about the concept of KJ moving on. They respect him. They love the sacrifice he's made for the program. No ill will, no anything like that. I've just, I've listened to Pittman talk about it a couple of times. I've read the tea leaves. It kind of sounds like it would, it would be sort of wish him well. You'll come back here in 10 years and we will have a day honoring you and we'll retire your jersey and, and you'll be remembered forever here. But if it's, if it's here that we part ways, that's cool. We're comfortable. Uh, we'll probably go find a guy who fits this new offensive system better, and we will do everything we can to help you find a good landing spot. And if that's the case, that's the case. Wouldn't be the first time that's ever happened. 